Hello, this is Paul Chapman and welcome to another of my introductory tutorials on the Word Bible software. Today I'd like to introduce you to a handy little feature of the Word called the Clipboard Monitor. Now just to make sure this is active, it should be active by default, but just in case it's not, let's go to um, File Menu, Preferences, and go to Clipboard Monitoring and make sure Disable Clipboard Monitoring checkbox is not checked. Just make sure there's no uh, tick there. As long as there's no tick there, we're all good to go. So let's go OK. And now we have our Clipboard Monitor active. I'm going to minimize the word and I'm going to open up my word processor. In this case, it's Microsoft Word. So let's say I'm typing away. Um, John 3 verse 16 is a reference I want to bring into my word processor. Now without leaving the word processor, notice what I can do. Control A, select door, Control C, copy. And up pops my clipboard monitor and there we have the verse ready for me to copy. I can copy it, I can go to the verse in the Word Bible software program or I can add it to my verse list in the Bible software program. In this case, I want to copy that verse, hit copy, hop on my mouse back over my word processor, click down to activate my cursor again, space, control V, and it pastes directly into my word processor, all without having to leave the word processor. Isn't that a great little feature? Let me, let's try another one. Uh, Romans, Romans uh, 2 verses 16 and 17. In this case, it's a verse range. Let's copy that. Uh, highlight it, control C, and up pops my clipboard monitor with that verse range there ready for me to copy. Copy it, and back to my word processor, just click in the area where I want it to paste, control V, paste it in, and there you go. All without having to leave my word processor, and I can go all the way through a Bible study just like that. Now, another handy little feature of this clipboard monitor is if I'm actually reading a web page or I'm reading someone else's Bible study or a lesson guide, in this case here I have a lesson guide, um, I can highlight any ver series of verses on that page and notice what happens. If I highlight uh, the entire section here and I go Control C, notice what happens. Up pops my clipboard monitor with all those verses active uh, ready for me to copy or add to my verse list. There you have them all there. And to show that they're all there I've got a little drop down menu here which I can click on and it drops out. Out pops all those verses. I quickly navigate my way through that list just by hitting on that little arrow to drop down the verses that I've copied through the highlighting and copying control C option uh, on my keyboard there you go without even leaving that document well I'm ready to go with that I'm happy with that series of verses so I can just add them now to my verse list let's click on that and I've added them to the verse list just to make sure let me go across to my Bible program open it up and there it appears Zechariah 2 verses 10 and 11 that's the one that I had highlighted is my option Let's just bring them all up, and there they all are now added. A whole lot, just by clicking this icon here, I can add them all at one hit to my verse list. So there you have it, the clipboard monitor, a great little feature of the Word Bible software. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, take care, God bless you, and enjoy your study of the Word through the Word.